Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for xenon difluoride. So here we go. Xenon difluoride, XeF2, is going to give us 8 valence electrons from the xenon, plus 2 fluorines each with 7 valence electrons, giving us a total of 22 valence electrons, alright? Subtract out the largest multiple of 8, giving us um, 6 remaining electrons. Divide that by 2, gives you 3 pairs, while um, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Showing us that this is going to have 2 peripheral atoms around the central atom, and 3 non-bonding electron pairs on the central atom as well, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. You have the xenon in the center, surrounded by the two fluorines and let's go ahead and single bond them and fill in their octets okay so each one of those has eight now and now we also have to add in these three non-bonding pairs of electrons on the, on the xenon so there's one two and three so let's go ahead and check the formal charges to verify that this is correct so the uh, formal charge on the xenon which is the central atom is going to be um, 8 valence brought in, minus 1, 2 bonds, minus 2, 4, 6 non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of 0. And then the uh, formal charge on each of the fluorines is going to be 7 valence brought in for each, minus 1 bond for each fluorine, minus 2, 4, 6 non-bonding electrons on each fluorine as well, giving you a formal charge of 0 times that by two because there's two of those still is going to sum up to zero which is what we want because this is a non-charged particle all right now let's go ahead and talk about the shape um, ax2 e3 this is going to be a linear shape all right and with a linear shape the uh, bond angle is going to be approximately 180 degrees okay straight across um, in terms of hybridization, there's one, two, three, four, five different electron groups or bonding regions. So for five groups, you need five orbitals. So sp3d hybrid, 1s, 3ps, 1d, that's five orbitals, okay? And because this is linear and these are both the same atom, they're both fluorines, they're um, dipole moments will cancel each other out, making this a, a non polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.